up everybody? Welcome to Hidden Heights Farm. I'm Rachel and this is my daughter Kaya. Hi guys, I hope you're having a good weekend because we are and um we're having a really good weekend. We are, and this is my son Caleb. And today we have a super easy cheap project that we can do and it's to help save the bees. Right. It's a bee watering system. Yes, mm -hmm. that is really important guys, isn't it? Because without honeybees and our really important <laughs> pollinators, we would not have food to eat, right? Uh-uh. Yeah, because they pollinate all of our plants and vegetables uh -huh. and all the beautiful flowers we get to enjoy. So we're going to show you today an easy way to do your part to help save the honeybees. Um, you probably only know this, but for the ones that don't know this, um, honey is really important because they help um, us, if we're sick, get healthy. Right, yes, honey is really important. Um, honeybees are really, really important for our environment. Just like Taya said, they're important. Mm -hmm. um, they're good for your allergies if you can find local honey. Mm -hmm. And if you're not comfortable with going out and purchasing, you know, honeybees and different things, this is a really easy way that you can help okay. save our pollinators. And it's super cheap. It is, isn't it, Caleb? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, okay, so now we're going to show you the items you're going to need to make this easy and cheap bee watering system. Everything we've got here we have purchased either from the dollar store or Walmart mm -hmm. and it's all under $10. Um, so the first item that we purchased was these glass gems. These were about $2 or $2.50. And you can get these in all kinds of colors. See, the kids mm -hmm. have all these different colors that they can do. Um, and here's another item that we purchased. You're going to need a shallow dish. So you can buy a shallow dish like this. This is just a plastic thing that goes under a, a pot for your flour. That was mm -hmm. a dollar. Or if you have an old pie pan, an old glass pie pan, you can use that. So that's free. We already have that. Mm -hmm. Or another option is a baby chick water. Mm -hmm. This was $4 at Tractor Supply, this part here. If you want, you can go ahead and buy the plastic that goes on top of this. That's gonna hold your water. That was another $4. So this whole thing right here was $8. Mm -hmm. Or, if you have an old mason jar, you can use this. It just screws right on there. And so, this whole thing was $4. If you don't want to buy these little glass gems, you can go out in your yard and collect some small rocks or some creek gravel. Any kind of small rock that goes in the bottom, you can use. It's no problem. None of that's going to hurt the bees. Um, so, I know a lot of you may not be comfortable with purchasing uh, a beehive and getting all into the honeybees and all that, but you still want to do your part to help save our pollinators. Right guys? Because mm -hmm. they're really, really important. Mm -hmm. Without <clears throat> without honeybees, we would not have food. food. We would not have food, we wouldn't have vegetables, we wouldn't have fruit, no. because they, as everybody knows, they pollinate yeah. all of our vegetables and fruit trees, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's really, really important guys. So this is a really easy way to do your part to help save the honeybees because they need fresh water. When they come to your flower garden to collect the nectar from the flowers, they have probably traveled miles and miles and miles to get that nectar to take back to their hive. So they need to rehydrate. And also butterflies are going to be using this too. So you're going to have lots of honeybees, butterflies. Mm -hmm. uh, Alright guys, so one thing I'm going to tell you not to do is put sugar in your water. No. In this dish. Um, reason being is because instead of going to get the nectar from your plants and vegetables, they're going to come to this water source that has sugar in it and they're not going to visit the plants and the vegetables that they need to pollinate. So it's really important just to keep fresh water in it guys. No sugar water. No sugar. No sugar water. So now we're going to get started. We're going to show you how to do this. Mm -hmm. So, Caleb's going to open whichever package he chooses. Mm-hmm. Open which one you want, Bubba. The blue. Which which dish do you want? The plastic one. This one? 
Okay, so he chose this one. And like I said, this is easy. My kids are doing this, and this is going to help save the bees. Dump it in there. Yep, go ahead and dump it in here. Mm-hmm. And like I said, guys, bees are really important because they, they help oh, us if we didn't have any food. Open like, them, hold on. Okay, hold on. Cut. Cut, cut, cut. Okay, hold on. Okay. All right, so Caleb's dumped all of his crystals in there. Um, he's used two packages in this one. And the idea is to get at least two packages of crystals in here because you mm -hmm. want your honeybees to land on the crystals mm -hmm. and not drown. You don't want them to be falling in there and drowning. You want to give them a way out. So, <clears throat> sorry guys. So if you are using rocks from outside, which is totally fine, mm -hmm. um, just make sure you've got enough rocks to cover the bottom. Mm -hmm. That way they can get on there and not drown. So that's that one. Mm -hmm. Which one would you like to do, Sissy? I would like to do this one. And one more. And I think Wait. this one. Okay, you probably need at least two packages of these crystal gems to get enough to cover the bottom. You want to do this one? Mm -hmm. Okay, be careful with the scissors. Okay. So and she's just going to dump these crystal gems right in here. Whoop. Okay, so we're going to spread them out. All right. And this one actually only took one package of the little crystal gems. Mm -hmm. So that's that one. Okay, so this one actually only took one package of the crystal gems. Mm -hmm. And so what we're gonna do, we're gonna fill this up with water and then we're gonna dump it in here and it's gonna fill this up around it with water. So that's a really easy way and mm -hmm. that will give you water for several days. So you don't have to keep filling it up. Okay, and then lastly, we're gonna do this pie dish that we uh -huh. have repurposed we, here. We only have these two colors, so we're just gonna use those. Yep, we're gonna use these. Here you go, Bubba. Be very careful with the scissors. So this is a really fun project you can do with your kids and give them an opportunity to teach them about honeybees. We've got honeybees here on our property. We've got two hives right now, but everybody can do their part to help save the honeybees. It's really super easy. <clears throat> very careful, very careful. So this is gonna turn out really pretty for our garden. Yep, can you help me? Yes. Please. Thank you. Be very careful with the scissors. Yeah. Don't you, want any injuries, that's for sure. No. You don't want to cut yourself with <laughs> these scissors. They're very big. Yes, they are very big and dangerous. Okay. So, here is our bee water. Uh-huh. They're super duper pretty. They are pretty, sissy, and you can do any kind of color you want. You can go out and get gravel, like I said, uh -huh. or rocks from outside and not even have to buy these crystal gems. Um, that'll save you some money, too. So it's really easy to do your part to help save the pollinators. So now we're going to fill these with water, and we'll show you what it looks like uh, after they're filled with water. Yeah. Okay, so now we've got our water, and we're going to fill our dishes up. We're going to do this one first. And you just want to fill it up a tiny bit. Just that much. You don't want to fill it up past your rocks there. Mm -mm. So that's that one. Oops, sorry. And then here's the next. Okay, so right there, that's enough water. Oh. So we don't want to completely cover our rocks, guys. No. And that's one reason we use a shallow dish. We need to put a little bit. Okay, so now we're going to unscrew this. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this one, the chicken water, what you're going to do is you're going to wait to put your crystals in or go ahead and dump the ones you had in because, out. Because we messed up. Yeah, and you're going to fill your mason jar up. Mm -hmm. Okay, 
I think that's enough, Mama. Okay. Uh -huh. All right, we're gonna put that right there, and then we're gonna screw this lid on here. Yep. Gotta make sure it's on good. Yep, make sure it's on tight, guys. Uh huh. So we're gonna flip it over, and, and it's gonna fill up with water. Uh huh. And then pour it. Now you put your crystal gems in there. This will not overflow. It's designed to stop when it gets full. Yeah. So this is a really good little water. Whoa. And when you place it on the ground, just make sure it's level. Uh -huh. Okay. All right. Is all those even? Yep. We good? Yep. All right. Good job, guys. One on each side. <laughs> okay. So that one's done. Mm -hmm. So, and then you do this plastic container the same exact way that we did this mason jar. Yeah. So, that's a super easy and cheap way uh -huh. to make a bee watering system that anybody mm -hmm. can do to help do your part to save the bees, right? Mm -hmm. Now that we got our bee waters done, now we could plant some seeds and herbs that are totally friendly to pollinators, like butterflies and bees. Now let's get started. Yep. Okay, now we're going to plant some bee friendly flowers and herbs. Mm -hmm. So I'll put a list up that shows you different types of bee friendly herbs and, and different flowers that you can plant to help attract the bees and help them give them some nectar. Yep. Right? Because yep. not all flowers and plants uh, put out nectar for your bees to collect. Mm -hmm. So, I'll put that list up so you guys can see which ones you want to plant. Alright, let's get started. Yeah, we have okay. a lot of flowers. Alright guys, so we've got our little holes hollowed out that we did with our pencils here. And the kids are going to take two seeds mm -hmm. and put in each hole. Here, this is Caleb's. And this is the part. All right, guys, we've got all of our seeds planted, all that done, and our bee water is done. And we appreciate you guys spending time with us and learning how to do your little part to save the pollinators. Right, guys? Mm -hmm. And if you like our video, please hit the subscribe button. We would greatly appreciate it. Mm -hmm. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Yeah. Bye, guys. Have Bye. a good weekend. I'm doing some more.